Hi and Namaste to all. This side Priya and I am going to explain you today uh, Keynesian theory of income and employment. So earlier we have done somewhat introduction of Keynesian theory and of in, of income and employment, and today we have to do the assumptions and explanation of Keynesian theory of income and employment. So moving on. Uh, assumptions of Keynesian theory of income and employment. Number one is short period. What happened is Keynesian totally focused on short short run period. Why so? Because he, he has a problem of unemployment in developed countries and in developed countries such kind of problems remain for short period. Okay. He also believes that in a long run we all are died. Okay. Number two is closed economy. He feels that in a capitalist economy we, the capitalist economy the economy is unaffected by foreign trade it, it is an inbuilt economy and inside the borders so it is a closed economy which he has experienced next is he also ignores the government role on aggregate demand he says that government has no control on consumption and investment okay next is fixed prices in an economy there are two prices that is factor prices and, uh, and, and, and product price these two prices come under aggregate supply so we have studied that in a short run period one thing remain fixed and other is variable so the thing which is fixed in in his theory that is aggregate supply in aggregate supply two things come that is factor price and product price factor price are the factors of production uh, are the price for the factors of production that is land labor and capital and um, product price are the price of the product which which are to be sold in the market so these two things are, uh, are and the, and these two things come under aggregate supply and uh, in short run period aggregate supply is constant so the two prices that is factor price and product price these two prices are fixed and this is the assumption of keynesian that is fixed prices okay number number uh, number yes fifth is money as a store of value he feels that money is 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 the thing which which is to be stored which is to be saved which is to be retrieved and we can even exchange it later some point of time so he he feels that money act as a store of value we can change it we can save it we can ex, uh, we can retrieve uh, retrieve that money at some point later okay next is no time lag he he says that there is no time lag between consumption uh, uh, between consumption of the income like for example uh, if the level of the income increases your consumption also increases but not at the same uh, uh, level of the rise in the income you increase your consumption to somewhat portion of the increased income okay so there is no time lag between the income increase and the consumption increase so you immediately increase the consumption as well but not with the same level okay so moving on uh, before i say anything it is very important guys to learn this table for keynesian theory of uh, income and employment this table is very important as it 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 contains every aspect of this theory so let's move on uh, keynesian theory is a short run theory it is written over there okay fine it is a short run theory we have already discussed it discussed it uh, next is he he feels that national income depends on employment he feels that national income depends on employment and in, and in short run period employment is equal to income and output whatever in, uh, whatever output you get from the income is exactly based upon the employment of the laborers in the market okay uh, then when these three things become equal that is the time when when we have the effective demand in the market okay and effective demand is a blend of two things that is aggregate demand and aggregate supply aggregate supply we have already discussed two things come under it that is factor price factor price it is not written over here so i'm writing it factor price f p i'm writing it in short form and product price pp okay fine these two things are fixed in an economy and these two things come under aggregate supply okay done then uh, aggregate demand talking about aggregate demand aggregate demand means total demand of goods and services in the market in, this is a this is a very simple meaning of aggregate demand what is aggregate demand means total demand of goods and services in the market okay fine 
Keynesians say that aggregate demand is a blend of two things that is consumption and investment. So when we talk about consumption, two things come under it that is size of income and propensity to consume. Where, so coming up first to the size of income. So size of income actually we have already discussed it. Size of the income means if 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 your in uh, if your income increases, your consumption also increases but not with the same level of rise in the income. Okay, you increase your consumption to somewhat level. Okay, okay, done. Uh, I have already written this point. Consumption dip see this. Consumption depends on income. When income rises, consumption also rises, but not as much as income. So, in other words, as income rises, saving rises. If you consumption at the same level, pe rise nahi kare, so you are rising your saving. Hai na? So, this is the thing. Okay. Ab, we have done size of income. Now, let's go to propensity to consume. Pe. So, uh, propensity to consume, ke andar two things come. That is, APC and MPC. Uh, actually, we have already done this before to the students who 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 have done this. I have provided the notes. Okay, uh, uh, APC is change. Uh, sorry, APC is consumption upon income, and MPC is equal to change in consumption upon change in income. Okay. Achha, MPC se we derive investment multiplier. Investment multiplier is nothing. I have already given this. Okay. Investment multiplier is uh, actually we we already know this thing that income is equal to consumption plus investment. Okay, when we do this thing, change in income is equal to change in consumption plus change in income. So what we get is we have we we get this equation, and from where does uh, we get this C uh, into change in income? We get this from this formula. MPC is equal to change in consumption upon change in Income, ठीक है. अब MPC is equal to change in income upon uh, change in consumption upon change in in uh, income था. तो फिर अब क्या हुआ? ये जो change in income है, इसको हम इधर पे ले गए. So ये दोनों चीज़ multiply में आ जाएंगी. MPC multiply पे change in income हो जाएगा. जो 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 value आएगी किसकी हमारी change in consumption की. तो change in consumption की value हमने ये जो है, ये ये हमने derive करी है. That is MPC multiply by change in uh, income. अब ये C को हमने MPC लिया है. It is written over there कि हमने C को MPC लिया है. C को हम अब हमने MPC ले लिया तो C multiply by change in income. अब इसको हम mathematically कर लेंगे. Mathematically करने के बाद हमारी investment uh, मतलब we derive the investment multiplier as this. This this comes the formula. Okay. So अब हमें इससे ये पता चल गया कि हम from where we, we get this investment multiplier. ठीक है चलो यहाँ तक समझ में आया ओके दो वन थिंग वी वी जस्ट रीड दिस लाइन आल्सो इट इज इट 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 गिव्स यू मोर आउटलुक कंसेप्शन कैन बी इंक्रीज पर रीजिंग द प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्रीज द इनकम एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट मींस दैट कंसेप्शन को हम इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं कैसे प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम तो जैसे ही इंक्रीज होएगा उससे हमारी इनकम और एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी इंक्रीज होगा ओके okay. अब वो प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम किस पर डिपेंडेंट होता है it depends on psychology of the people, their taste, their habits, their wants, their social stru structure which determine the distribution of income. Okay, fine. Next. Uh, next is in aggregate demand consumption part we have discussed now. Let's discuss investment part. In investment two things come that is rate of interest and uh, marginal efficiency of capital. Now coming up to rate of interest. What is rate of interest? Rate of interest ke andar do cheezi aati hai. That is liquidity preference and supply of money. Ab liquidity preference kya hai? Ab liquidity preference hai. Uh, hamari, hamari money ko hum teen cheezo mein uh, divide karte hai. That is precautionary. We, we save the money. We invest the money for the purpose of precaution. Ki koi uncertainty na ho jai future mein. So that is the motive. So precautionary motive refers to providing for contingencies. Koi bhi contingencies uske liye if we save, if we invest some kind of money that is precautionary motive. Okay. Next is transact, uh, transaction motive. Transaction motive means jab hum money ko uh, we, we, we 
we use the money for transaction purpose with with individuals or with uh, other businesses or with other for other purposes we may we use the money for transaction purposes so transaction motive hamara wahan pe useful hoga okay speculative motive kya hota what is speculative motive speculative motive means when we try to take advantage of the profit from the differences of the price in the market तो so, पहले अगर मेरा ट्वेंटी रुपीज़ का कुछ प्राइस था अब फिफ्टी रुपीज़ बढ़ गया है तो द चेंज इज द प्रॉफिट दैट इज स्पेकुलेटिव मोटिव ऑफ द मनी वेन वी एक्चुअली ट्राई टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ द प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम द चेंज इन प्राइसिस अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस इज लिक्विडिटी प्रेफरेंस अब सप्लाई ऑफ मनी इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रिकॉशनरी मोटिव एंड स्पेकुलेटिव मोटिव ओके रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट हमारा इतना ही है अब आ जाते हैं मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ कैपिटल को इफ वी एक्सप्लेन इट इन सिंपल वर्ड्स इट इज द एक्सपेक्टेड रेट ऑफ प्रॉफिट और द रेट ऑफ रिटर्न फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टमेंट ओवर इट्स कॉस्ट अब इसको सिंपल वर्ड्स में अगर डिराइव करेंगे हम अगर कहीं पर हमने इन्वेस्टमेंट करी है उससे द uh, the profit which the rate of profit which i expect from it that is the marginal efficiency of capital if i have invested somewhere my capital the rate of profit which i am expecting from it that is the marginal efficiency of capital okay simple words mein this is understood to all i hope uh, now next is iske andar do cheeze aati hain that is prospective yield and supply price supply price ko we we say it as a replacement cost also अब इसको देख लेते हैं हम प्रोस्पेक्टिव यील्ड क्या होता है जब आपने पर यूनिट ऑफ कैपिटल पे आपको कितना प्रॉफिट एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो आप दैट इज़ अ प्रोस्पेक्टिव यील्ड ओके अब सप्लाई प्राइस क्या होता है सप्लाई प्राइस मींस आपका रिप्लेसमेंट कॉस्ट आप एक मशीन दे रहे हो उसके बदले में आप यू आर परचेजिंग अ न्यू मशीन सो द रिप्लेसमेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ योर अर्लियर मशीन फ्रॉम अ न्यू मशीन अब ये रिप्लेस कर रहे हो यू आर पेइंग सम कॉस्ट फॉर इट ना दैट इज़ अ रिप्लेसमेंट कॉस्ट ओके ओके फाइन एनी अदर थिंग आई डोंट थिंक देर इज एनी अदर थिंग लेफ्ट इन इट किन्सियन ने इस टेबल के थ्रू ही हैज़ एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग सो वी हैव डन किन्सियन थ्योरी सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू गिव अ थम्स अप दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे Happy quarantine and stay safe. Bye bye.